king in a bikini cap, I'm still in rap. He ain't no OG Robert. And then I had to deal with cheer, and then I had to deal with YouTube. So it was just like too much to do at one time. So I just took a break. Question number dos. What's your plan after you graduate? So at first I had this plan, like a set plan on everything that I wanted to do. But now it's like my mind is like, I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Like at first I wanted to go to college, but then I was like, nah, I don't want to go to college. But like now I kind of want to go to college. And then at first I wanted to live in LA, like move out at like 18 and move to LA and like start a life there. But then another thing was like, I wanted to do my photography stuff and YouTube stuff. But then that's another thing that I don't know. Like, like it's just a lot of different stuff that I want to do in my life. I don't know what I want to do anymore. But I just know I want to be rich and happy and on my own and yeah. Question, question number three. Question three was how's life? Life is good but like I'm not doing anything. Like I feel like my life is just on pause. Well not on pause but like I'm just not doing anything. Like, like I could be doing so much right now but I'm just being so lazy. Okay the next question is. Um, how is your summer going? My summer is going actually pretty good. Like I've done a lot for my summer to just be starting. But my summer ends next month on July 30th. Like how lame is that? Like But I mean we get a lot of breaks throughout the school year, so like the next question is why did you quit YouTube? Okay, I didn't quit YouTube, I just took a long break and like once I started to take my little break, I was like, I'm going to take a week break. I'm not going to upload this week. And then that week turned into another week and then another week. And then it turned into a month and then some more months. So it was just like, mm, whatever. Not like whatever, like forget y'all, but like, I just ended up forgetting about it. So. Oh my God. The next question is, what is my sexual orientation? Um, I think that's like, you know, a personal thing. I don't, you know, but I don't prefer to share that. So the next question is, who is your favorite artist? Okay, I'm going to name all of them. Drake, Ella May, Summer Walker, Miguel. Miguel is like my number one. Young Thug as a rapper. I think that's like my only favorite rapper. Those are like, I like Chris Brown. He's not my favorite though. Six Lack. <laughs> Six Lack. Um... I'm not really like a rap artist type of girl. I mean, I like my traps and my raps, don't get me wrong. But like, I'm more of an R&B type of person. And I'm loving, like right now, Tink is like up there for me. Like, she's my favorite, like right now. Jack, I like Jacquees too. Um, The next question is, do you like being the only child? The only child, being the only child, a lot of people didn't know I was the only child, but some people knew because they said I have the syndrome or whatever. But being the only child is boring, but it has its perks. Like, my house is so quiet all the time, like, literally all the time. Like, there's no, it's just me and my mom that live together in this house. So it's, like, always quiet in our house. But some of my friends actually like that because they have sisters and brothers, and they like to come here to get away from that. But, I mean, I get... I'm not gonna sound, I don't wanna sound like a spoiled brat, but I, my mom spoils me. Like, I get a lot of the stuff that I want because it's only one of me and I don't have to share. Next question. 
age. I am 15 and I'm going to be 16 September 24th. September 24th, I'm going to be 16. I'm not having a sweet 16. Well, I don't want to have a sweet 16, but you're going to see what's going to happen. Long term goals. I just want to be successful. Like I want to be so successful and I want to travel and I want to be able to be happy with what I do. Like I want to wake up every day and be happy. Like I don't want to be like, oh, I have to go to work. Oh my gosh. Ugh. But like I want to be really happy at, my, at a young age and very successful. Like I don't want to have to depend on anybody for anything. Like family. Because not even gonna get into it, but I don't wanna be able, I don't wanna have to depend on anybody for anything. Favorite color, I have three. My favorite colors are lavender, royal blue, and lime green. Next question, how many kids do you wanna have? I wanna have zero kids. I don't have the patience for kids. Like, I don't have the patience. Favorite song, my favorite song right now is by Tink, and it's called Bad Sign. Snippet. You been on my bedside, but I ain't gon' act like I don't want you here with me You get on my legs That's the song The next question is Where do you want to be in the next five years? Okay, this is the same thing as my like my life My long term goals question uh, I just want to be successful living in my own Like condo or apartment or something Like that I'm not really worried about like the boyfriend girlfriend thing Like I just want to be successful um, are you and your mom close? Me and my mom are actually very close. Like, she's my BFF. Like, she may get on my nerves sometimes. Like, of course, she's your mom. Like, she's gonna get on your nerves sometimes. But, like, me and my mom are so close. I tell her literally everything. Like, literally everything. Like, if you tell me something and you say don't tell anybody, I'm, I might just tell my mom. Like, I'm sorry. I might just tell my mom. That's my heart. Um, the question, the next question is, do you have a crush on somebody? Um, I prefer not to answer that question. What's one place you would like to go in the world? I always say this, I would love to go to Bora Bora. Like, I think it's so beautiful there. And I would take my camera and just take lots of pictures. And I just, I don't know. I just want to go to Bora Bora so bad. Like, it looks so beautiful there. But yeah, Bora Bora or Fiji. Fiji seems cool too. It's what are all the places you've been in the world? Um, I don't know all the places I've been in the world, but I can name some. Okay, New York, New Jersey. Virginia, Alabama, Florida, uh, those are all the United States places, of course, I've been there. Outside of the U.S., I've been to the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Bahamas, um, um, I was about to say Nassau, but the Bahamas is Nassau, um, yeah, I've been, yeah, that's all I've been. As a baby, I went to South America, Guyana, that's what I mixed with, baby, but, um, oh, <laughs> speaking of. But, um, yeah, my mom said I, was there. I went there when I was a baby, but I don't remember, so, like, I don't really count it. Next question. Um, do you think you're getting married? Personally, I don't see it because um, I get bored so fast, like, and annoyed, and just everything so fast, so I couldn't see it. But, I mean, if it happens, it happens, but I just personally, I can't see it. What do you want to be in the future? I want to be kind of an entrepreneur, but also a YouTuber, but also, like, I don't know. Like, I just want to do whatever makes me happy. Like, I'm, mm, mm, mm. There's a lot of stuff that I used to want to be. I'm going to tell you. Okay, so I used to want to be a computer engineer, a gaming, like a graphic designer type of thing. Um, YouTuber, of course. A photographer or videographer. I think I already said computer engineers. Anything, something with computers. I forgot. But I, I wanted to be all of those things. But, like, my mind is kind of shifting. Not on the photography stuff, but on the technology stuff that I had said. So, I don't know. Your view on relationships. What do you think is important in them? My view on relationships. We are young, okay? I feel like... It's, you could there's a possibility of people finding their soulmate or whatever at this age because I know people that have been together since like middle school and are still married and stuff today so it's possible but me personally like I'm just chilling like when at this age I don't think you should give your all 
but I don't think you I also don't think you should dog somebody like you know like I don't think you should hurt people's hearts and stuff like that plus people hold on to stuff and carry it with them for years and years and years so like is I don't really know like just don't give your all to somebody who clearly doesn't care for you or about you or what you have to say or how you feel about stuff or like like just don't give your all basically don't give all of yourself away at this age but like you can fall in love with somebody at this age but like mm, it's a little like this generation is a little mm, so i wouldn't personally i wouldn't but i can't really say much because i fall in love with people easily so mm, do you sometimes miss or think about your dad i don't want to answer that because that's kind of personal but i'm just gonna say yes do you think your life would have been different if your dad was in your life? Yes. What is your last name? Pompey. Three pet peeves. Um, one of them is, okay, it's weird. When people shake up a drink, like any type of drink, especially like orange juice, and it has bubbles at the top of the drink. Like I hate that, like, it, it irks me. Like it just, does, like, like it just does something to me. I just hate it. That's my biggest pet peeve. I don't really have any other pet peeves. I mean, I hate people, but I don't hate people. Like, I hate people, like a certain type of person. Like, like people that are just, oh, just so, oh, for no reason. Like, I don't like those type of people and I hate them. Like, get away from me. What's the latest you stayed up? I stayed up all day before, like 24 hours. Would you be able to live without your phone for a certain amount of money? Yes. No. Yes, I could try, but I don't know if it would be possible. Where do you want to live when you grow up and why? I always say this to people where I want to live. I've always, I want to live in California, LA, Los Angeles, California. Or I've, I've also said I want to live in the Bahamas. One, the reason why I would want to live in the Bahamas is because everybody there is so tranquil, uh, tranquil and like peaceful. And they just, like, they just seem like they just live to enjoy life and just have a good time. Like, they don't really worry about the small things like here like in america is so like americanized and i don't like that like the bahamas is so culturized and just peaceful and like everybody just wants to be happy and have fun and the other reason the reason why i want to live in la is because business wise it is good the cost of living there is expensive but like it makes sense why it's expensive like look at la like where i'm from i'm from georgia atlanta like compare atlanta georgia to los angeles like what do you like to do for fun i like to go to sleep are you gonna make up with your ex best friend okay this is how i'm looking at it. let me take a sip I had to take a sip for the culture. Um, I'm not, okay, there's no beef between us or anything. Um, we're just not talking and stuff like that. Like, there's no beef. We just don't have the best friend title anymore and we don't communicate anymore. Well, I communicate with one of them, but I don't talk to the other one at all. And there's no beef. I just, I don't, I don't really want to speak on that. I'll speak on that in another video, but yeah. Um, do you plan on going to college? I again, I don't know. Like, sometimes I want to go. Like, okay, you don't need college to be successful. Let's be real, you don't need college to be successful. So, like, I don't really know if I want to go or not. Like, I don't know. How do you feel about the new abortion laws? Personally, I think it's stupid that a male has the right to control a woman's body. So, like, like, I feel like you should have that option of if you don't want to have the kid or not. Like, if you want to have the kid or not. Like, I think that should be the woman's decision because it's her body, first off. She should be able to decide what she wants to do with her body. So, I feel like that law is so stupid and it makes me, makes, makes me so mad. Like, that the government has control over women's bodies. Like, I just think that's stupid. And then, like population control is going to be a issue probably in the future since they put that law out it's going to be overcrowded here it's already getting overcrowded here so we're going to end up being just like china 
and stuff since all of the states are trying to pass the law we're gonna end up being like china and we're gonna, we're gonna be overpopulated and then it's gonna be to a point where like they the government or whoever does stuff to kill off the human race like i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but like you get what i'm trying to say like i just don't like that they have control over women's bodies i think that's personally do you think the friends you have now will be the friends you had in five years? Um, yes and no. Yes, because like they've been my friends for so long. Like the friends that I have now, I don't have that many friends. So they've been my friends since like growing up. Some of them since elementary, some of them since middle school, and now we're in high school. Friendships in high school don't really last that long. And a lot of people say that, and it is actually true. So friendships don't really last that long when you're in high school. Like people start to switch up and act fake and do all of this other stuff. So it could last, but then again, you never know with high school. Like anything is possible. Like I never thought I would lose my friendship with my best friend, but I did. And I had a friend for like 10 years and we stopped being friends, like best friends. So like it's a it's like if you like I don't know like it could they could still be my friends but they also couldn't. What is your biggest regret in life? I do not live life with any regrets. Okay. I live life with any regrets, so I don't I can't answer that question. What animal do you relate most to? Oh my god, somebody trying to ask me that question. Dolphins. I love dolphins. Like they're just so happy and just good communicators. And I just like I just love dolphins. Like I just feel like me and dolphins connect on a spiritual level. So my camera is like overheating. It sent me a temperature thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe for another one. Um, share this video with everybody. Okay, share with everybody. Um, comment what video you want me to do next. Make sure you subscribe once again. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. We're on the road to 800 subscribers. So get us, let's get to 800 or 900. I can do it. 900 subscribers. Um, also, I don't even know what else I want to say. Just, I love you guys. I did not abandon you. Please just. I just been on a break and my break ended up lasting longer than it should have. Um, but I will be making more and more videos for y'all because I just love y'all so much. Um, I hope you all have a good day. Um, I don't know what else to say, but yeah. Go Bulldogs. Woo.